Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, in today's episode, we are here in Mount Galmir, or the Volcano Manor. Gonna be continuing on. I've generally sort of like plotted out the course. I think we have to go along that way, through that bridge, from the bridge down into the lava area, over through there, up there, and I think there... One of those cages is definitely an elevator that's gonna take us up there. And then that's gonna be a shortcut back here. Easy money. There's only one, what the shit. Oh yeah, we fought one of these guys. Um, the question is, do we want to take the parkour route, as in over these rooftops? Or do we want to go through the streets normally? Um, it's really a conundrum. I think I'm gonna take the Assassin's Creed route. Because why not? It worked out in... okay. It worked out in what you call it as well. Stormvale. I'm so gonna parry you. No, I'm not. So this is essentially just a man serpent. Yeah, I go into the lava. It's not even the... He didn't even take fall damage. Bitch. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so these are essentially man serpents, except slightly upgraded, I would say. Very, very slightly. Um, and this is, this is a good area, though. Oh, and we have poison. Of course we have poison. I mean, we've had, like, poison shit before, but... Now I got arrows, and I don't know what I'm taking damage from. Probably the poison. Yeah, we got them headshots. We got them crotch shots. Uh, you guys know I'm a Fortnite champion, so my aim is... My aim is always good. You don't. That's one thing you don't have to worry about. Seriously, that broke long on. And they just don't die. They just don't die from fall damage. I guess it's fair that the enemies follow the same rules. And these like long ass snake like enemies are kind of jank on these narrow ass platforms. But that's okay. It just means I have to fight less of them. Yeah, so it's definitely worth coming over here because if I was just going through the streets, these guys would be throwing hella poison at me. So, yeah, that makes things a little bit more convenient when I descend down here. And... The usual. Look at how much... Whoa! Oh. I hate this thing. It just has so much HP and a grab. This does work. Uh, it has been confirmed that mashing does release you from grabs quicker. So it's a technique I've been utilizing. It's a technique, Jesus, you should be utilizing. That's the knowledge I'm imparting. These guys are like the closest thing to a mimic. With their like weird... Like their weird grab attack. Their weird grabby hands. Oh god, you're annoying. We almost got it though. It's gonna give like a thousand souls. Or three thousand. It's still like not a lot. Let me tell you that much. It is just not. Oh, by the way, it did craft some doink arrows. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick to the fire ones for now. I have some, like, all types of shit. I'm guessing fire arrows ain't gonna be doing much in this area, out of all areas. But that's all good. 
This is a slightly ominous area, isn't it? Just slightly. There's a big guy. And see, the thing I'm scared of is... There's a pretty good chance that thing is going to kill me. If I fight it. Plus, there's a snake in the way, too. Okay, you're smart enough. That looks like a crucible knight or something. Dalsim. And there's a lot of Dalsim references in this game. These are uh, like absolutely not Dalsim references, but still. He is using Dalsim moves. Get them stretchy limbs. So what I'm gonna do is we'll take a look over the other end of the bridge. Let's see if there is a checkpoint. Because if there is, that's going to make things a lot more convenient. Hopefully it's a checkpoint and not a boss. Okay. Clever. Albanoric blood clot, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Always pays off to be suspicious. Are these gargoyles? I think they are. Like, very non-reactive to being shot. And I am fully gonna exploit that. How much is that dealing? Oh, that... Okay, so everything here... Which was my sort of guess that everything here would be... Resistant. Oh, they're not gargoyles. They're little dudes. Trapped. Well, sorry about that. I just straight up murked them. Let's chalk it up to putting them out of their misery, okay? That's what... That's what we'll say. They have white blood. Oh, are these those things? Those... Because we found the Albanuriac or whatever blood outside. And these are those dudes that were in that village that was attacked. I'm guessing this is like a different race. I mean... Yeah. Easy money, to say the least. This, by the way, I haven't mentioned this, but I'll mention it now. This area is very Bloodborne-ish. If you haven't noticed, like... The whole vibe, even the way the city looked. Or the manor, or whatever. That's some Bloodborne shit, for sure. I, and yes, I know I should go back and fight the big dude. That crucible knight or whatever, but let's just hold off a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. We have plenty of time. Hey, hey. I've never used great bows in like any Souls game, in like any capacity. Just, just not a fan of them. Oh, we're already down here. Cool. This is actually progressing a lot quicker. Nice. See, I'm not sure if that's actually closer or not. <laughs> like when you think about it. I guess it is. I, I, I think it is. Let's level up if we can. I think this should be a level. No, it's not. 50k. Uh, right, let's go on back up. Okay. I have my dogs. Just in case. And am I gonna get peppered with poison? I think there's a chance. Oh, that's the... Oh, that's the fucking Capra Demon clone. 
Oh shit. This is bad. I wasn't expecting a gank, why doesn't that friendly fire? Guy, you're good at closing in the distance. You're slightly stronger than Capra Demon, I will give you that. What the... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This guy, the big dude can't come in here, for sure. <laughs> 1,600. Worth it. Hella worth it. Oh, he killed it. It's just... To say that was slightly underwhelming, I think, would be... The understatement of the century. Earth tree seal. Oh, this is a um, it's a um, talisman, a miracle catalyst. They're called seals in this game. Cool. We're gonna get rid of this pup, and we are going to warp back. All right, let's take a look at this place. I feel like I feel like this should be easier with a jump button like because these types of lava areas in souls games were always mad annoying and i'm thinking that with the with the addition of a jump things should be just slightly oh does that deal like does the lava deal like no damage at all that's what it looked like that would be really, really convenient to have one goddamn Souls game where lava is just like not very annoying to navigate. One can hope, right? Oh, we're already here. What is that weapon? Oh, <laughs> is that a whip? It is. It's like a. And that is pretty cool. You gotta admit it. So we have two elevators. I know a cage elevator. Oh, is that gonna... No. This very much has the appearance of... Like a boss arena, doesn't it? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna... Listen, I've... Plotted this area out pretty well, so I have like a general idea on how this is gonna go. There should be a shortcut through that bridge back to the starting bonfire, which is what I'm gonna be using. This is big open areas, man. Like, you're always suspicious, aren't you? And I did see there is some big-ass whatever here. Yep, what are you? Whatever you are, you have a lot of HP. This is, a, this is an enemy we've not seen. Oh, he uses this black pyromancy. And he gets backstabbed. Oops. Yep, use that bleed. See, now we're getting up there with HP. Uh, that is... That also looks like a boss arena. Everything looks like a boss arena. Yeah, I, I thought this was going to be a thing. So that is definitely... They're giving you a shortcut like this. This is a million percent a boss arena. And we get a cutscene too, cool. Imagine it just raises like a giant ass dragon or something. 
cool. Oh, there are cages on the bottom. Oh, sucks for them. Actually, it doesn't suck for them because we just raised them out. Yeah, I'd wait for this to cool off. This is gonna roast your feet if you're not careful. Like fry an egg on it or something. Imagine if they actually paid that much attention that it would slightly damage you when going across. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, we have a shortcut, we have a level, and we have a couple of places to explore. But let's take care of the level first, which I'm going to spend on... It's weird, this game is weird, again, it's, it's very much like um, Bloodborne. In that you just feel like you don't need stamina. I know I have that talisman or whatever that increases stamina like all hell. Um, but even still, even before that, I just didn't really feel the need to have it. I've never sort of felt like I was like really out of stamina or low on stamina. Again, it's very Bloodborne-ish in that respect. Uh, let's check out the bottom area first. I'm like 90% convinced that this is a boss, so... Oh, sucks for you. This guy has a fly-ass beard. Jesus, the souls the enemies give are the runes. It's insane. They barely give any. And I know I didn't like explore this place too much, I will admit. Oops. Is this... Okay. I was gonna say... Oh, you can definitely survive this. Yep. More than survive. I would be very surprised if, like, some giant-ass enemy doesn't emerge out of here. Yep. It's a magma worm. Except it doesn't have a boss HP bar. Oh, shit. Yeah, slight issue with this. Yeah, you, you, you should co come over here. Yeah, to this place. If I had to guess, by the way, on what was going to show up, I would have put my money on this thing. Is it worth it for me to fight um, another magma worm for like... This is the third time. I'm not sure. Ooh, big oof. You're in the lava though, so... Can't do much, can I? Jesus, he has a shit ton of HP. I actually don't know if they can be bled. Yeah. I'm sort of weighing up the cost benefit of this. And it's not adding up. Like, it's gonna give me like 8,000 runes and probably some item, and that's it. So, yeah, whatever. And that's a very annoying enemy, like area to fight this enemy in. He works as a field boss. He really does. He's good as a field boss because you have your horse and like a massive area. But I feel like. In terms of other places, not really. Uh, I'm gonna guess that that's a boss. And I just created like a ton of freezing greases, which... if This, this, this is gonna be a fire-themed boss, I think. Or maybe not. Yes, maybe yes. Godskin Noble. Oh. 
Oh, it's another one of these things. We had the Apostle and this is the Noble. Cool. Rapier dude. Of course he can go through, of course. This wouldn't be souls if he couldn't go through the fucking pillars. Right? I mean, he is fire themed slightly. Like, depending on your interpretation. Yeah. He doesn't seem that difficult, actually. Yeah, definitely not that. Oh, second phase, yep. What? What the hell? Okay, thanks, camera. Fucking. It's interesting that he's a fat so and he's fast. I do like that. It's sort of a little bit of a change of pace. Man, use them. Use them flaps. Use them titties. I do respect his... Dedication. It's Bob from Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter. Uh, from Tekken. Rufus, that's the one Street Fighter one. He's very fast all of a sudden. Yeah. Fuck. He has them fucking like... Oh, come on, he rolls around it. That is a fucked up attack. He counters everything. Interesting. Like... Whoa! Okay. I'm slightly running out of heals. He's dead. Yeah, that was easy. Easy money. Gutskin, Stitcher, that's the rapier. 50k. So one level. And noble presence. Oh, that's the... That's the fatso attack. Hmm, Serpent's Amnion. Serpent's Amnion, it's a key item. There it is. Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offsprings. Amnion of the mother's womb which cradled the poor unwanted offsprings of a repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Okay. Don't know what to do with that information. Um, not gonna deny that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, where do we need to go now? But I see the lever. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna pop a rune or two. Got that level. Yeah, that was actually fairly easy. Maybe I was overpowered for it, but... I don't know. It was a cool boss, though. Like, again, it's a welcome change of pace that we have a thick boy, and the thick boy is actually fast. Usually, that's not how it goes. Yeah, don't fall off, idiot. Yeah, we'll have a look around here. This church. Did you see that? That was like a weird visual glitch. Or whatever. I'm assuming this Serpent's Amnion is a part of some quest. Like I said, it is a key item, so... That should give you a hint. Yeah, there's like some weird like pop in here. Really strange. Anyways, I'm assuming that's the way forward. Which means, yep. I didn't think this area would be this easy, actually. And I know saying shit like that is just 
You're priming yourself up to jinx yourself. Uh, but really, this hasn't been too bad so far. This is like the most Demon Souls enemy in this game. Like, Demon Souls had this type of shit. That is a very nice view. But finally, I was gonna say, it's good to have a decent looking like magma area. Because FromSoft and their magma areas are very hit and miss. Visually, I mean. Like you have some like iron keep shit, which looks stupid. Um, but you also have things like from the same game, Broom Tower, which looks very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then. Oh, okay. I really gotta keep my eyes open. Oh, seriously? Thought I, like, discovered something new. So you do have to progress down there where the magma worm is. It almost seems like that. Yeah, no, so I'm just blind and or an idiot because this is where we have to progress. Um, there should be like a path to drop down somewhere. I did not sort of look too deeply into this. Just keep it interesting. People are probably screaming at me. Mr. Sketchhead. What are you doing? That's the one. Yeah, okay. So this is the type of shit that's like... You gotta get your mindset into it. You know what I mean? Like... You're so used to... Like this type of navigation not being a thing. In Souls games. Like the jumping around type deal. Oh, come on. Is this the main enemy here? Oh, screw him. Of course, I was just about to say that is 100% gonna glitch through. And of course it does. It's just the type of attack. Um, yeah, let's not tempt fate. So we're progressing. I am curious on where this is all gonna lead. It said there will be like a snake. That's what I'm expecting. Like this area of course is very snake themed. Like you can tell that much. And I think that guy, he mentioned that Rykard or whatever was eaten by a snake so... I'm assuming we're gonna have a Sekiro callback. Sorry about killing you. Oh. Not sorry about killing you, then. So yeah, we're probably gonna have a Sekiro callback. Giant snake. Giant snake man, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna leave these guys alone. They don't really seem to be doing much. And again, I'm... <laughs> yeah, right. You can probably make that, but... Whoa! That was unexpected, to say the least. Just like spewing his magma everywhere. How rude is that?
So yeah, like I said, in terms of fire-themed manors slash castles, which there are a strangely high amount of in the series. This is up there. This is I'm really liking this area, actually. Um, it has a very cool atmosphere. Plus, it's a good dungeon so far. I'm enjoying it. One thing that's like been absolutely top tier. Oh, interesting. Well, you could you could almost guess something like that would show up, right? One thing that has been consistently top tier in this game, and this game has been consistently top tier, but like especially top top tier is the dungeons. What the fuck is going on there? Am I stoned? You have a lot of HP. And do I have a solution to that or what? I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Out of all the things that could have happened with this fight, that is not what I was expecting. He's gonna bop you with his giant head. Yeah. Wouldn't have guessed it. Interesting. Where are we? It's another boss fight, isn't it? Audience pathway. Rykard? Or snake? What the fuck? You can teleport out? Interesting. Um, serpent. Oh, this is... This is the obligatory... Let me guess. It's the obligatory cinematic fight, isn't it? With a special weapon. It's this guy... Serpent Hunter. Yep, zero. This this is it. This is it. Weapon that serves as both great sword and spear. It's the fucking weapon of what you call it. <laughs> um The Nameless King. Thought to have been used to hunt an immortal great serpent in the distant past, it manifests as a long blade of light when facing such a creature. When their master's heroic aspirations degenerated into mere greed, his men searched for a weapon which with which they might halt their lord. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. I'm so fucking ready. <laughs> God devouring serpent. Look at how much HP he has. Oh, it's causing me. Yeah, okay. Take your other shit off. I didn't expect it to be heavy. This is so cool. These type of boss fights are always... Yeah. When you don't get grabbed, these types of boss fights are always very easy. Um, he has arms too. This is so cool. I, you guys know I'm a sucker for these types of fights. Um, I have a soft spot for them. Fuck. You have a lot of space. Uh, yeah, and I'm getting backed into the corner, so... How about we... Get the hell out of here, I was gonna say. Here's the thing, I've been going for a long time. We saw we saw what this guy does. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'll wrap it up here and we will pick up with this fight. Yeah, it doesn't do shit, does it? 
has like no scaling either, right? No, it has B scaling with strength. Interesting. I wonder if you can. No. Because you know, like in what you call it, for example, in um, Demon Souls, yeah, you can like troll with this weapon. Like the equivalent, the Storm Caller, or whatever it's called. Storm L Ruler, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This is cool. I, I'm liking this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I wonder if you can upgrade this. And then it's gonna deal more damage because like the low level upgrade materials don't cost anything. I'll try that. Next episode will start there. Thanks for watching everyone. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.